It's not the X's and O's, it's not the football game, it's the young men in the program. And our job is to take care of them and make sure that when they walk out of here, when football's over with, they're prepared for the next step in life. And there's a lot that goes into that, way past the game that we get to go out there and play and Reese or go on the road and play or wherever we're at. And the Beavers win the 120th Civil War and the fans are rushing the field. It feels like old time. It's the same every year, but I think year three, it's even more important is to understand that you need to take care of yourself and those expectations need to be set as far as a team that uh, takes care of themselves, polices themselves, a coaching staff that's in it for the kids. And if we do that and uh, do it the right way, which these kids will, and I believe our coaching staff will, then we'll continue to grow as a football team. Players make plays, players win games, our coaches uh, not, I do understand that and I make sure that they understand that day in and day out that this game is is about players on the field and about players off the field but uh, there's a lot of years of experience out there and they'll put them in a position to make plays and do things well um, at a high level off the field also. Starting up fall camp again, it's uh, bringing back memories from last past two seasons with Coach A, and you know the environment, the uh, you know being with the guys again, it feels great. Oh, it's great. I mean, having Coach Anderson here for being his third year here, um, it's just a great feeling. Um, now the guys are are starting to understand what is expected, and um, we've kind of built our own culture. Taking that momentum coming off the Oregon game, and we de definitely put it in our mindset and and our our way of doing things. I mean, you see guys juiced, energetic, ready to go. Um, we have confidence again. I think that's you know really important to have going into this season. They walk out of there after six nights and uh, they have a relationship with somebody that they didn't have before and that's a big part of Ben. The point of Ben is yeah, get rid of the distractions. Uh, you know, when you're when you're away from your natural habitat, it's hard to uh, you know go off and do something on your own because you're not going to be familiar with it. You know, you got to do everything right. Good job to do it to the right. To play, right? What's up, y'all? It's Brandon Arnold, and we just got our practice. This is where we stay at, Oregon State Cascades. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all what, what we do around here. Follow me. A beautiful day, actually, out here in Bend, Oregon. Uh, it's like I said, hey, what's up, what's up, Moku? We got the guy J-Mo right here. This is where everybody comes in, you know, after practice. In this cafeteria, go ahead and get your foods, got your drinks and everything over here. Usually line starts up over here. People line up, go over, get their plate. Salad, you know me, I'm a salad guy. You know, Caesar salad, woo, slap. Hits the spot, perfect. And now, you know, I'm gonna take y'all in here and show y'all what we do up in here. But just the kids to be around each other, 24-7 in that setting, in that situation. It's a tremendous opportunity for our team to grow, get to know each other, understands the ups and downs that everybody's kind of going through. And it's for all the magic happening. You see some of the trainers out here right now. What's up, what's up? See some of the trainers out here right now. I'm gonna take up to the rooms. Yeah, I'm on the last room down here. Hey Calvin, you boot up, you good? It's Calvin right there, running back freshman. We got this man right here, Dwayne. Yeah, you know, good dude. Yeah. You know, he in there watching film. All right, man. So I just showed y'all where we stay at, what we do. You know, watching film, getting our food. But I gotta get my sleep. Y'all follow me too much. I'm tired. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Later.
if you're going to succeed at a high level, there's the football side of it, there's having really good players. That's so important. Really good players that can make plays in this league. Uh, you have to have to have a chance. They're all not going to love each other. They're all not going to want to hang out with each other 24-7, but they have to be a tight-knit group, and they have to be able to work together as a football team on and off the field to be functional on Saturdays to win games. And I continually ask them to just get tight, and that's the word I use to them. All of you, every single one of you, you're the ones that make it all happen now, don't forget that. You got the capabilities and the abilities to be special freaking group. Adversity may come uh, two or three weeks in a row. It may come a couple days in a row. Really good things may come a few weeks in a row or a couple days in a row. And if you're not a tight-knit crew, I believe you're going to have those ups and downs in those scenarios, both in good and bad. Uh, a tight-knit crew can stick together and continue to focus daily and get themselves to move on to the next level. And then you get those relationships that will last a lifetime. And every team member should have a few relationships that last a lifetime when they walk away from Corvallis and walk away from Oregon State University. Oh, 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 oh,